snow like that here for us, but it's going to feel like winter, isn't it, John? Yeah, we're certainly getting a taste of winter, and it's starting up in the northwest counties right now. We'll take a look at live Super Doppler HD, and that area of heavier snow has just started to move into the northwest counties. You see some of the darker areas of blue just to the west of Ida Grove. Just checking our dual pole radar, and the estimates here are approaching about an inch. Most of it very light, but a few of these little spots getting close to an inch. So it will probably weaken a little bit as it moves on to the east tonight. But certainly the possibility of seeing snowfall amounts in that half to one inch range. Winds continue to really be an issue tonight out of the north, gusting now 15 to 30 miles an hour. That cold air is just pouring in. It was 66 degrees at noon today. And you can see now temperatures well down into the 20s and 30s around the region. Across northwest Iowa, low 20s Sioux City, upper 20s Fort Dodge. Here in the metro, just dropped to 34 degrees. And I tell you what, you factor in that breeze out there, and it is very, very chilly. In fact, we're talking low single-digit wind chills. Yes, we've used it, single-digit wind chills just to our north and west. Now, the school net sites, they record the peak gust in the wind, and they have really been rocking this evening. Lamoni, just 41 miles an hour. Jefferson, a few minutes ago, 39. Audubon out in western Iowa, gusting to 40. So you can see, even if we get just a little bit of light snow, certainly wind will be an issue. Wind advisory continues through the overnight hours. Doesn't technically include Des Moines, but the counties on to the west with Nebraska and South Dakota. Winds gusting around 40 miles an hour. You can see that from the school net sites. So your 7 a.m. weather, snow will be ending. Most locations dusting to about a half inch. A few spots, about an inch, especially just west and northwest. Mostly cloudy at 11. Temperatures only around 30 degrees. But the wind chill will continue in the lower teens. And even early afternoon, although the clouds will be breaking up, still breezy. And the temperature virtually not changing much at all during the afternoon hours. All right, take a look at the big picture. The heavier snow band right up in here, but a pretty good band now setting up along the front into northwest Iowa, extending down into Nebraska. This will continue to push on to the east overnight. Strong winds wrapping in on the backside of the system. Gusts to about 40 miles an hour. Clearing takes place late tomorrow afternoon, leading to a very cold night tomorrow night. So here's that band of snow up here to the northwest. It'll move across central Iowa around 2 a.m., ending by around 7 to 8, and after that, just cloudy, windy, and cold into the afternoon. Again, most amounts pretty light. We're talking around a half inch potential, but if you're traveling to the north, well, reconsider your plans for the morning. It is going to be blizzard conditions across much of central Minnesota. 27 tonight, light snow dusting to about a half inch. A few spots bumping up close to an inch overnight. 32 degrees for tomorrow. That's it for the high. Less than half what we had for today. Through Thursday, upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Heading into next week, no change. We're talking 20s to low 30s and those overnight temps well below normal teens to near 20.